Hello and welcome back to Checkpoint. I'm Burton Martin. And I'm Elijah Wax. Star Wars Jedi Survivor came out on April 28th, about three years after its predecessor, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. The sequel takes place about five years after the original game, around the same time as the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. Not much is known about the plot, but it will still center around Cal Kestis as the protagonist, and like the one before it, the game is highly anticipated. While not even released yet, it is currently the highest selling game on Steam solely from pre-orders. As for the gameplay, you need not worry about force abilities and lightsaber techniques being reset, as Stig Asmussen, the game director, has said that the new game will build off the previous features. It also appears that players will be able to perform combo attacks with their companions. In addition to this, dual wielding lightsabers will now be available on their own, rather than as a limited form of attack. At some point in the game, players can also add a blaster and a crossguard saber to their arsenal. Mounts will reportedly be a part of the game as well, as players will be able to tame some animals. And another interesting component is that there will be much more cosmetic abilities, such as beard and hairstyles for Cal, much more clothing options, and different parts for his little droid companion. Star Wars Jedi Survivor came out on April 28th for PC and next-gen consoles. It's priced at about $70 and will not be available for older consoles. What do you think? Are you excited for the game? Will, will it live up to the hype and popularity of its predecessor? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. For all your entertainment, tech, and pop culture news, be sure to subscribe to Byte BSU. Keep up to date with us on Checkpoint. Is that a good or a bad thing? Uh, viewer discretion advised. <laughs>